Hello, this is Data Up Consulting, and for today's tutorial, I'll be showing you how to design a more professional and advanced Domo dashboard. This includes adding and editing photos, adjusting layouts, and more. To start off, you need to find and locate the data set you will be using, as well as decide on what general design you would like to be in effect on the dashboard. For my example, I will be using a data set showing the world official golf rankings. And to get started, we can go ahead and select the dashboard we wish to edit. Now I'm already on the dashboard that I will be editing. And then after this, we can then gather all necessary data, cards, and images before we begin. Before making any changes to our dashboard, though, we should first understand the needs of our audience. In this case, it may be a that of a client is asking us to design this dashboard for their business. To keep things quick and easy, I have already designed an acceptable professional dashboard for us to go over together. When a client is set to use or view your dashboard, it's important that everything is readable and easily understood at a quick glance. For that purpose, I found that adding the company logo as well as a basic header note explaining the dashboard can be incredibly important. To do this portion yourself, you can select Edit Dashboard and continue on to drag and drop either the image, header, or text box to their desired locations. I have also found that displaying total counts of desired data near the top make it easy and quick for clients to get a deeper grasp of the data being displayed. Now to show you how to do this quick, you can again, once again, go into the top right corner, click the wrench, edit dashboard. On the right side in here, you can then drag and drop either the header, images, new cards, or even text boxes into the dashboard for editing. Next, it is very important to lay out your filters or slicers in an easy to view way. For example, I have placed my filters together near the top of the dashboard. Because of this, clients who may use this dashboard will have to scroll past said filters to view the collected and visualized data. This gives them an opportunity to see and understand how the filters work as well as how they affect the different cards. So for example, if we go over here to the year of rankings and select 2022, we can see right away how the data below has edited or changed. We can then specific, select a specific month, and again, we'll see how the data has edited or changed. This is an easy way for filters to be used and understood by the masses, essentially. If you want to get rid of these filters, we just once again select the buttons, and it'll bring back the original data. At this point, you may begin to add or create cards to be placed in the dashboard. A major concern that needs to be addressed during this portion of the design work, though, is the process of making sure the filters actually affect the data being displayed. This can easily be handled by using the same data set throughout the dashboard, but that isn't always possible. To counteract this, it is incredibly important to make sure each data set you use utilizes the same data format. For example, to make sure my date filters work, each data set needs to have a date column that is also formatting in the same way. So once again, to show how this works, if we select, we can go up here and select a year, maybe a month. We can also go to the country of origin and select a country, and that'll affect all the data below or all the data in the cards below that said point. Now, if we weren't using the same data sets, if we weren't using the same formatting, this wouldn't work. You would select something and it just wouldn't change or it would break down the other cards. So like I said, it's incredibly important to use the same data sets or the same data types and whatever you use as a filter. Now this was a basic walkthrough of editing and designing a professional Domo dashboard. I intend to come back in further videos and show coloring as well as other design that simply isn't work related but also makes it look nicer and even more professional advanced. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped in any way and I hope you all have a great day.